We're now in the middle of July. Now for the first time ever, I have found elderflower. Here's some. Elderflower blossoming in the middle of July. Now normally it's ready for picking in June and again this is one example of the late running growing season that we have this year because of the late uh, start to spring. I'm going to get a bag full of this and take it back to the house and I'm going to use it for making elderflower champagne. Got my elderflower here which goes straight in. Nice big bag of it. I reckon I got about 25 litres of water in that bucket there and then the juice of about 20 lemons and the zest from the same lemons as well and then a few kilos of sugar and I'm going to give that a, a good stir but I've got something else to show you which is the final ingredient to go in. This is last year's elderflower champagne. Well, it wasn't quite elderflower champagne. I made a mistake last year of leaving the champagne too long in the bucket. And really you're just supposed to leave it there for a couple of days and then you get it into your champagne bottles. I left it in there initially for about a week and then I went and checked it and realised it had fermented but it also had started turning to vinegar. And I've ended up with 32 bottles of our own elderflower vinegar because I certainly wasn't going to throw this stuff away. So it's vinegar and actually we need to add vinegar to the fermenting bucket there because that helps to moderate the fermentation process. And I'm going to give this a good stir. Make sure that sugar is dissolved. Well this is the top of the elderflower champagne bucket and you can see it's started to ferment and this is now going to go into the bottles but first of all I need to get rid of all the gunk from the top. I've removed all the gunk at the top and try to get rid of as much as possible using a sieve as well. So this is now ready to go into the bottles, the sterilised bottles. Unfortunately my funnel is tragically small uh, so this is going to take quite some time to fill all these bottles. Right, that's 24 bottles of elderflower champagne that we've got and uh, you can see that it's bubbling because um, that it's fermenting because you can see the odd bubbles, occasional bubbles rising up to the top. So we've got to put the corks in and uh, these corks have to be heated to soften them up a bit before they go on to the bottles. You need to wire down the corks on the bottles and on the top of the bottles you can see there's quite a, a, a thick rim and you've got to make sure that your wire cages are below that because that's effectively what locks all of this into place. Well there we have one of the 24 bottles that we've made. Now what we do is we store them in a cool dry room and we store them on their side like that so put them in a wine rack good solid wooden one because these are quite weighty bottles and you can start drinking this really reasonably early probably within um, 10 days or so uh, now obviously the longer you leave it the more alcoholic it will become but generally speaking this is a great drink for the summer and given that we're actually getting some lovely weather at the moment hurrah then uh, we'll be breaking open a few of these bottles over the next few weeks